Ladies and gentlemen, it all comes down to this specific moment here. If you guys did not see the last episode of the Pittsburgh Pirates franchise, you guys would have known that this is the final season that I'm going to be doing with the Pittsburgh Pirates. The final season, the final push, everything. So this is basically the final, the, our last chance, our last playoff push. And... I think we can do this, man. I think we have a team stronger than last year, a rotation stronger than last year that can definitely get the job done if needed, man. And uh, it's time for us to go out there and prove it. So these are the final stats of the season. If you guys did not check our last episode, these are the stats that we ended off the season with. We got Austin Meadows. We called them up. Ended up being a start for us this season. Not even under a full season. Technically kind of under a full season, but still. He still has a lot in the tank in him and everyone hit pretty well everyone hit pretty well and the rotation you guys see here this 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 squad can definitely do it man this squad is definitely the one i i i truly believe it i truly believe this is the squad that can bring us the the illustrious trophy and can bring us the dub here so let's go ahead and figure out who we're gonna play between the cubs and the uh san francisco and it looks like we're going to play it off against San Francisco, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to go ahead and see. Let's go ahead and play this game. We're going to do the quick manage. You guys know how this goes. So we're playing off against San Francisco. Chris Stratton. Uh, a difference of between, I believe, 19 games. I think we've won more than them. I don't know. So let's go ahead. And we're going to be playing this at home. Obviously, we're going to be playing at home because we have the better record so we're gonna put james and ty on, on the mound they did start madison bumgarner in their uh wild card game which gives us an advantage of not being not facing off against mad bum so we're gonna put james and ty out there and the lineup as it stands we're gonna leave it the way it is we're gonna leave it the way it is i like the way this is all banana style they do have polanco uh that we did give to them we traded them uh marisnik correa I don't know who that guy is. I don't know who that guy is. Marcus Simeon, Ryder Jones, Buster Posey, and Chris Stratton. So, let's play ball, ladies and gentlemen, for one final time. Let's go out, let's go out there and put a performance. Austin Meadows in his postseason debut already comes up clutch. And, folks, we're hitting. We are hitting. The runner is thrown out at home, folks, but we are coming out hitting. Like I said, it's our final chance. Start starting Marte with a double that drives in the main man, Colin Moran. A single by Austin Meadow that drives in a run. And ladies and gentlemen, this, this this is looking good here. A single by Gregory Polanco hit by a pitch. A single that drives in one run, but what is thrown now? And it's looking to be a slaughter right here. Ah, Simeon does get a run back with the with the, uh, a home run there. A fielder choice there. A walk. Corey Dickerson, a pitching change. And a strikeout, a single by Buster Posey, a sack bunt there. One run does score from Gregory, Gregory Polanco. And Jason Tan is kind of looking soft. There we go. Scope with the home run solo. Ramuto, let's go. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, come on. Uh, if you guys don't know, Meadows, Austin Meadows is so good. He is so, bro, keep, keep, keep the runs coming, bro. We're like printing runs here. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you guys, this is, is looking good for us. We're going to let Meadows go the long haul. We're going to let him go. Uh, he does get a single himself, a double play belt, and obviously there. We're going to let him go the full 90, and Samian does get a home run there, a single right there, but that does not matter, folks. We defeat the Giants 7-4, to four. Austin Meadows. The top prospect that we called up this season goes 3-5 for five with two runs, two home runs, and three RBIs, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and go and start game number two. I'll see you guys then. All right, ladies and gentlemen, game number two. And on the mound, we're going to put up Noah Syndergaard. I have trust in Syndergaard. I think Syndergaard can go the long haul. And the positive about that first game is we did not use anybody in the bullpen, which is pretty good. It leads us to having a very well-rested bullpen. Uh, obviously, Austin Meadows is going to be... Wait, why did they tweak our lineup? Okay, I definitely did not want this tweak to happen. So, we put Meadows... We're going to put Meadows at the three-hole. We can actually lead off Corey Dickerson. I don't mind leading off Corey Dickerson. Josh Bell at the third three-hole right there. And, yeah, we'll leave it the way this is like this. We'll leave it the way it is. We're not going to mess with it too much. And let's play ball, ladies and gentlemen. Noah Syndergaard up on the mound. What is he going to do? A clean first inning. An error for the first <laughs> fielder's choice. And nothing happens there, folks. 
Oh my goodness, man. Machado single. Trevor Story with the double. Moran with a single that drives in one run, but the second run is thrown out. A single by the main man, Real Muto. A sack bunt and a fly out by Dickerson. So we get on the scoreboard with a run and a hit by Profar. A single by Josh Bell. Machado strikes out and a three run home run. Trevor Story. Let's go, man. Trevor Story with the three run home runs brings it to a four zip. A four zip lead. And it looks like we're on the road to start some more here. It looks like we're on the road to score more runs here. And our goal is to have our bullpen as rested as possible. If our starters can go the long run, beautiful. If not, then that's fine. A walk by Schwarber. Ground out. Let's go. Nothing comes from that. Let's go. Dickerson with the single. And let's see, man. They bring out. They have Kyle Seeger as well. A pitching change as they bring in Will Smith. Machado gets on with a single. A triple by story with scores in Machado. Ladies and gentlemen. This is looking like a onslaught. There we go. The Pirates have defeated the Giants. Five zip. And ladies and gentlemen, back to back complete game. And Syndergaard gets a complete game shutout. Nine innings pitched, two hits, seven strikeouts, and five runs scored overall. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Two and oh so far in this series. And next episode, we're going to go ahead and figure out if we do end up sweeping them. Or if they pick up a game. And yeah, so so far, this is where we're gonna leave off the episode, folks. 2 0 so far. Starting off beautifully. And I think we can do this, folks. So if you guys enjoyed this series, please make sure to leave a like down below. And also drop a sub if you guys wanna be no notified of the future uh franchise team that we're gonna be doing. We're gonna choose our last franchise team before MLB the show 18 comes out. I mean 19 comes out, and then from there we'll start off a whole new team. And you guys know how that's gonna go. So Thank you guys for watching. It's been your boy Rezzy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, peace. When I pull up.